whether you realize it or not, that you're holding your future in your hands. Okay, you may look at the calendar and you see 2022. But please know that your hands and your feet, they are walking towards 2032, 2042. Okay, so the stuff on this video is important because it's going to help you ensure your future, your children's future, your grandchildren's future, okay? There's probably been a time in your life when you were either at work or you were with a group of people and you heard somebody say, oh man, it's really hard to find good employees or to find a good mechanic or to find a good barber, okay? I'm going to talk about this more as the video goes on, but welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets, Monday edition with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to talk about what a good worker is, what a good employee is. If you're someone working at a company and you're seeking to be self-employed one day and how it just comes down to two characteristics and making sure to embody those characteristics as much as you possibly can, because it's going to make your employer's life easier and make your life easier in the long run. Okay. And what I do with everyone I work with, um, and hopefully everyone that interacts with me on a, on any with within any, any length of time, I want to make with three things to their lives, make it more enjoyable, easier, and more efficient. Does that, do those objectives always get reached? No, but that's the goal. That's the overarching goal. That's the ideal. For example, I have two clients right now. One works in the skincare industry and the other one is a chocolate company, is a chocolate company and I've worked with them for over a year. So I say these I say this video from real life experience of like what it takes to be good. They both told me that I do a good job and they referred me to other people and that's how your business grows. Okay. I want you to know that right now, whether you realize it or not, that you're holding your future in your hands, okay? You may look at the calendar and you see 2022, but please know that your hands and your feet, they are walking towards 2032, 2042, okay? So the stuff on this video is important because it's gonna help you ensure your future, your children's future, your grandchildren's future. Really listen up, okay? It comes really down to two things. If you're a good employee, you can kind of write your ticket in life, all right? And that comes down to two things. Today's secret is be reliable and be consistent. Okay, be reliable and be consistent. Okay, you won't have problems finding employment if you're those two things. Dude, so some of the clients I work with now, it's pretty much set in stone that they'll stay with me. They continue to operate because I've just proven myself up to this point. I have to do something catastrophic for them to fire me. I'm not being cocky. It's just the truth of the situation. I have a client that keeps me around because of like we think you're better than other people we've dealt with because you've been reliable and consistent. Okay. So this is today's secret. Be reliable and be consistent. In May of 2022, I went to Atlanta. And while I was down there, I went to the College Football Hall of Fame. And I was reading these stories about excellent athletes. And two words really stuck out. Well, three, really. It was reliable, consistent, instant impact. These people were doing great things. And you can do great things in your life, too. And everyone has done great things in your life. It's just being able to see that. A lot of people don't see that because the society tells you how awful you are. Um, how you suck at everything, but that's not necessarily true. A lot of us do suck at things, a lot of us are good at other things as well. Anyways, my point is that I went to the College Football Hall of Fame. That stuck out. I went to Boston with my girlfriend. And we went to the, the New England Patriots Hall of Fame. Guess what two words stuck out? Reliable and consistent. Okay. And so that's really important because those two striking similarities between reliable and consistent are going to help you to be a good employee. Okay. You want to be good. It's going to make everyone's life easier if you're going to be good. One of my first videos was like, make decisions that are going to impact the most people. Okay? You being good at your job is going to help you. It's going to give you that security you want and ensure your future. The financial security you want just by being good. All I have to do is be reliable and consistent and they'll refer me and that's it. And when they were like, they, that's, this has happened, but then sometimes you meet with people who you don't agree with or you meet with people who there's confusion. Okay? It's not perfect. I don't want to come off as this is a perfect panacea for all your problems, but it will solve a lot of them, okay, if you're reliable and if you're consistent, okay, let's talk about being reliable, what that looks like, reliable is like, means that, okay, you're the same person every day, okay, you're going to do a good job, if you are a barber, you're going to get the same cut every time, the same experience every time, they know what to expect from you, okay, because most people are unreliable and inconsistent. And so the point being is that you want to be reliable. You don't want to be inconsistent thinking that 
get people to think that you can't do your job. If your job is to fix computers, you can fix computers most of the time, but you can't fix computers all the time. Okay, remember, if you want to be different, be successful, you got to be different than what every, you got to be different and do different things what everybody else is doing. Okay, now let's talk about what the, what consistency looks like. Consistency means you're doing it all the time. Okay. And back to being reliable, reliable just means you can be counted on. That when the light, like a light switch wouldn't be as reliable as a light switch that when when you put it up, it turns on. That's what you want to aim for. And being consistent, you want to be able to do it all the time, every day, all day, no matter what. And that's going to help you to solidify a good life. Just being reliable and consistent also too. Stay tuned for a surprise at the very end of the video. It's just that like these two things are so important. Now you may be thinking, why is it just these two things? Because really that's all you need at work. You need something reliable, you need something consistent. In terms of anything you need, like you need toothpaste, it's gotta be reliable, it's gotta be consistent, that's it. It reliably cleans my teeth and it consistently does it. That's really it. It's very simple. And a lot of you like just think, oh, what about politics? Or what about the economy of inflation? A lot of that stuff will be taken care of if you just take care of your own backyard, which is to be reliable and to be consistent, okay? Consistent in your words, consistent in your actions, consistent in your approach towards life. And reliable in your product, work product, knowing that, okay, we know what we're going to get from him. Somebody told me one day, they're like, you're solid. Like, that's why, one reason why we like you. Okay, you want to be solid. I talked about this in my video about how if you want money, be money. But this is more, this is a different video harping on two subjects, reliability and consistency. Okay. You want to be known for reliability and consistency and not be a liability, okay? But like I said, when I went to the Hall of Fame, there's a two striking similarity between the two is that the word reliable and consistent can pop up, keep popping up. These people live grand, you know, great lives, okay? And you want to do the same thing, you can, okay? If other people have done it, you can do it too. But it's like be reliable, be consistent. It's very simple. It's hard to be reliable and consistent because our emotions control it. But that goes with another thing. You want to control your emotions, not be controlled by your emotions, okay? Very, very important stuff, very simple. Be reliable, be consistent, believe the best is yet to come. You hold your future in your hands and know that you can ensure your future with these two traits. And also too, these are traits, okay? Traits are the stair step above habits. And, this, and habits are the stair step above of activity, okay? You wanna go from activity to habits to traits. You wanna make this, these two things to be traits. Like they're almost, they belong to you the same way you're, they, they have the same type of solidity and consistency of your skin okay that they're always always there your, your skin is always this color no matter what okay turn habits into traits all right and that's not even today's secret today's secret is be reliable and be consistent at work and you'll be a good employee okay, or a good service provider whatever it is now on to today's surprise today's surprise is wherever you go you either paint or taint things okay you either make them better and beautiful or you make them worse and ugly okay and I've done both. Everyone's done both, I would, I would say. I'd posit that everyone's painted things. They've made things better and beautiful. Everything's tainted things. They've made things worse off. Okay? And remember, as always, lastly, as always, try to be consistent with this messaging, is that unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situations. But successful people, you hopefully make decisions based on where you want to be, okay? Be reliable and be consistent. Be different than 99%. Most people you work with are not reliable and not consistent. Okay? Some are reliable, but inconsistent, and some are consistent, but they're reliable. You want to be both, and that kind of is the golden formula that I've seen in my life with real world experience. I've lived this, okay? That's really all people want is reliability and consistency. Does this, is this thing going to work? Is it going to work for a long time? Is it going to do what it's supposed to do or do it for a long time? Do it just about every time. Perfection. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.